On this week's Tuesday Talk, we are answering another question from one of you guys, and this one is about our water and water tanks and whether we drive and travel with them full or not. I guess that would depend on where we're going. Because mm -hmm. if we're if where we are going, we have plenty of water, then we won't have to worry about conserving or filling up before we leave. Yes. So if we're going to a campground or an area where we know we're going to have water available, like in a national park or whatever, that, that we can just go fill up, maybe we drive empty. Because I would rather drive with the Airstream full of nothing, <laughs> especially fresh water, because that's 62 gallons of yeah. water, that's going to weigh us down. And when you stop, all that water rushes forward and you have to brake a little bit harder. And when you accelerate, the opposite happens. So it's just easier if there's not as many fluids in general in your rig. Yeah. So we would rather have no liquid in our, in our Airstream, no, nothing in our gray, nothing in our black, nothing in our fresh. Uh, especially if we're going to do mountain and striving or anything like that, but really overall. However, we almost never have nothing because we're not going to empty well, our we fresh have waste water tanks, tanks too. Yeah. But we're also, I mean, we'll try to empty our waste tanks before we drive, but we're not going to empty our fresh water tank before we drive, even if there is water oh, yeah. at the next spot. And so we'll always usually have some water, and it's usually a good idea to have some because you never know something might happen while you're traveling and like I think your parents at one point got caught in an ice storm the highway got shut down and they had to spend the night on the side of the highway in their RV and if they hadn't have had any water in their tanks they would have no water and so you want to have at least enough water to get you through like a day or two which is not all that much um, and other than that we would rather have we'd rather have the absolute minimum um, when we're driving if we can help it but we're not going to go out of our way to make sure that we have the absolute minimum I suppose that's true. It really just all comes down to when is our next fill up? Yeah. And if it's going to be terribly inconvenient or we don't know when our next fill up's going to we'll be, make sure we fill then up. we're just going to leave with as much water as we possibly can because we don't know when we're going to fill up again. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, definitely the, the less water in the fresh water tank, the better. Yeah. The lighter we'll be, the better the drive. Yep. Everybody's happier. That's right. So that's it for this week's Tuesday Talk. If you have a question for us for a future Tuesday Talk, leave it in the comments below. Let us know whether you drive with water or not. Maybe we uh, didn't think something through completely. We've been known to do that. And uh, <laughs> we listen to you guys. So um, let us know. And like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.